Greetings, comic book friends. It is Wednesday, so we're doing a TGIW. Thank God it is Wednesday. Uh, we're we're going to have a quick one today. Uh, one, thankfully, because it was actually kind of a light week. And two, I, I have had a hell of a day today. <laughs> uh, so I think there's some whiskey that needs to go get drank. And uh, yeah, I need to get to that. Uh, so, nice. So this is what... This is, oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is what I'd like weeks to be. I got six books this week. Um, I, I, I did something dumb, though, because it's me. And I, I can't just say, like, oh, have a small week and just be thankful for it. I got to do something stupid whenever uh, that happens. Uh, but, well, let's, let's see what we got now um, or we got we got today. Uh, it's it's definitely a solid, like super solid week. And I'm excited for, for everything in here. Got Strange Academy number 18. Um, this, was this, this might have been a shortage from last week maybe. I can't remember if this is new this week or not. It might have been last week and then my shop got damages or, or something. I don't remember. Um, but Strange Academy, great little fun kids team book not for kids but with the kids you know what i mean <clears throat> uh so this i'm really excited about i did not know this was happening because i don't have my finger to the pulse i just read crap as it comes out batman 125 uh it is a new era beginning and what is this new era uh zadarsky I didn't know Zdarsky was going to jump on Batman, and that super excites me because I love Zdarsky. He usually does a lot of like tongue-in-cheek things, so I'll be really interested to see his take on Batman. Like I, I don't know I've ever seen him take on something that's as serious and as dark as Batman, so I'm very, very excited to see what this is like. Um, probably going to be the first thing I read this week. I'm just I'm so excited to see what that's all about. Uh, we'll stick with uh, DC and the Bataverse. The Joker 15, which I believe is the last issue, uh, but I say that every time, and then I look it up, and then I'm wrong, and then I don't know. So maybe it is, maybe it's not. Uh, I feel that it is because it's a little bit thicker. It's also a $7 book. That seems a bit much, even for how thick it is. But the Joker usually has been like a, a dollar more than what the usual cover price is. I don't know why, um, but I, th I think that's the last issue. Um, something that I know is a last issue for a while is Saga number 60. I believe this is taking a hiatus until January, uh, I believe is what, what they said. Someone at my, at my comic shop had said that. Um, this was taking a hiatus. Let me just let me know that it's taking a hiatus. So that's good to know. Um, it's continues to be great. Uh, I, I wish it wasn't taking a hiatus now. I was really just starting to get back into the swing of Saga and it's taking another break. So I'm going to have to get into that again, I suppose. Though the last break it took, I think it was harder for me to get into because... I'd, I'd felt it going kind of stale, whereas now it's been kind of revitalized a little bit, and I have been enjoying it more than I did um, right before it took its its hiatus. So hopefully when it comes back in January, it'll be able to pick up right where it left off, be interesting and fun. Amazing Spider-Man number five. Love my Spidey. This book has been great. Uh, was it well? Yeah, Wells. Uh, and the, the John Romano Jr. art, not my favorite, but it's fine. But uh, Wells is doing a great job. I think this is a really interesting story with uh, Tombstone and um, was it uh, Robbie Robertson and uh, Tombstone's daughter, who I think is the current Beetle. I don't remember what her name is. Um, little, little Lady Tombstone. Uh, but it's been a good story. Some interesting twists and things in there. Ro the Rose is involved, and it's good. Um... But uh, Amazing Spider-Man, I mean, if you haven't been reading it, it's only on issue five of since it, it re start, you know, restarted. Uh, it's a good jumping on point. So if you have any interest in, in jumping in on Spider-Man, it's, it's a good... Um, I, I don't think getting issues one through four is difficult by any means. So it's, it's a good 
a good point to jump on. Uh, and the last one, Ghost Rider number four. You know I had to get, go with that Momokes variant cover. Uh, I love Peach Momoko. And this is a fantastic, fantastic Ghost Rider that, that she's done here for this variant. So I... You know, I have Ghost Rider pulled, and then I immediately put that one back, and then <laughs> picked up the the uh, Momoko variant just because it's it's so it's so beautiful, uh, and it's been a fun book. Still kind of figuring out what's going on with with Johnny Blaze. He wasn't Ghost Rider for a while, and now he kind of is. Uh, but weird weird stuff with the Spirit of Vengeance is going on. Uh, but that's it. A nice a nice small week of six issues. This is kind of what I'd love for it to always be. You know, when, when I have 10 or under, I'm usually satisfied with, okay, I, I didn't go crazy. But if I can get in the 6 to 8 range, oh man, that's that's beauty. Uh, but what I did do is I subscribed to four, <laughs> four new books uh, from um, number ones that I recently read. Uh, I went ahead and subscribed to The Variants because that was really good. I subscribed to Mindset. Because mindset, man, I I don't remember the last time I read a number one and was like, yes, this is fantastic. Do I think it's going to explode and like be worth a bunch and get a show? Like, probably not. I don't care. But I think it's a really, really, really good book. Uh, I, I just absolutely enjoyed the first issue. So I decided to go ahead and pick that up. Um, if, if you haven't read it, if you haven't picked it up, if you can still find it, I suggest it. Uh, if, if you are interested in horror, um, mystery and, um, uh, and sort of a tech, tech world or in, just interested in tech in general, especially if you li if you work in tech, uh, I think it's, it's going to be a really, really good read. So I highly suggest that, uh, I pick up, um, a calculated man. I really liked that. Um, I, another big suggestion, I picked up that number one and really liked it. So it's about uh, it's, it's about a mob accountant, and then um, oh, I added Savage Avengers. I've gotten the first two issues of those and really liked it, so I, I went ahead and added that. So I added four things. Um, so I felt really good with the six, the only six issues, and I was like, oh shoot, you know what? But I do want to add these four things. So uh, it, today wasn't a total win <laughs> when it comes to that. Uh, I I did I did make some. Um, Decisions that I may ultimately regret, but I don't know. Although those books that I added are so good, but again, you can't you can't consume and read everything. You, you have to let some stuff go. Um, I probably didn't need the Savage Avengers. Um, the variants it got me just because it's like it's so on the cusp of being or could become something related to a new Exiles that I just mm, I I have to. Uh, that's. That's not entirely my fault on that one. Um, it's it's uh, they teased it. They teased it too much. If they would have let me know right, right away, like, look, this is not going to be a new Exiles. It's not going to be a group of alternate universe characters all teaming up. And at first, I was like, okay, it's it's all it's all just like a druze, right? That's not you don't make Exiles out of all the same character. But then I read the first issue, like. Ah, Maybe, maybe it's not just all Jessica Drew. I, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but I went ahead and, and added that um, for better or worse. But anyway, that is it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how you're doing, how you're feeling, what you picked up, what you're excited about. Uh, and of course, don't forget to make yours Titan. This video was brought to you by Titan Comic Pressing. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Titan Comic Pressing LLC.